Time to do some market recap, guys. Uh, we caught some really nice pips uh, for this week so far. We had a nice AUDCHF, um, as you can see, marked up here. Uh, we caught a really, really nice trade here. Two trade ideas and um, really nice payouts here. Uh, TP1 and 2. And we also had an Euro GBP where we closed off today on 50 pips, right? So just want to show you guys uh, some confirmations here. So I had my in, my stuff recorded. So you all could see exactly what I did here in terms of the chart analysis and the uh, market execution of the trade here. So let's check the the Euro chef, the AUD chef first, right? We want to basically look at the AUD chef. All right. So we had, a, this was a buying opportunity. We had TP1 here. And we had TP2 here by the 618 here. So we, this is where we got into the market. And we're going to have the play here uh, just to show you all how accurate the analysis was, right? And uh, look at this, guys. It came up to TP2, retested. It dropped back down and retested. And it came all the way down here, creating a double top here, right? So, guys, um, my name is Simeon from Trinidad and Tobago. And on this session, I'm going to show you some profits we had on two trade ideas, one with AUD Chef earlier this week and one with uh, Euro GBP, All right? So that was AUD Chef. This is the Euro GBP. Um, last week, we had entered a little bit early, but I had multiple confirmations and the market still went up, hitting that stop loss, right? And then now, uh, as soon as it touched the stop loss, it turned. Uh, creating a double top momentum here and it look at this, this drop here so we got in the market here on the retesting stage and uh, we had some nice um, pips here we caught so we're gonna hit play here this is where we got in here you would see like a long stop loss here but this basically is for the market to do what it had to do in terms of creating a, a momentum or people just call it um, a drawback or you know, you're giving me market space to breathe so it could possibly go in your favor, right? So you see the stop losses was set, even though um, the market decided to go in the opposite direction. It had a stop loss there, right? So we're gonna hit play here. This is a sudden opportunity. And uh, look at this guys, we TP1 hit here. Look at this perfect respect here. And we, we closed off this trade here, all right? Because I recently got some, um, other confirmation and buying opportunities. So we're gonna wait. Most likely it's gonna read somewhere here and reverse, right? It's going to go into that reversal stage. So this is uh the, the level of work that I am um, putting in to the charting, right? Uh these are the peers I work with. And if you wanna get some more information, just to show you guys some of the results here. Um this year would have been the weak results so far. Trading, yes, we did a USD card. Let me see if I have that USD card still there. All right, so yeah, I, I took off the USD card um, because we got a, a retesting here. So I'm looking for selling opportunity with a USD card, right? So here we go, guys. This is the week results here. Look at the dates and uh, the AUD chef, beautiful trade. 21 pips here. We had 46 pips on DP2. Uh, Euro GBP, we had 37 pips, TP1, and we closed off on TP2 at 53 pips, right? So these are the, some screenshots here um, we had available, right? So you all could see uh, real results here happening with the chart analysis. So if you want to get into the, the understanding of trading Forex, you can reach out to me on the description there. So overall, look at this. This is the um, the the niceness about trading, you know, you have leverage over your account through verified brokers, and then you have accessibility to your, your cash mean deposit to, to those brokers, right? So that's some of the main advantages getting into the Forex trading. So guys, if you want some more information, reach out to me directly on the description there. I look forward to hearing from you soon.